everybody, Brian here. Just wanted to uh, give you a quick intro to this video. We're mixing it up a little bit today. We're gonna bring our buddy Sam Carroza from Illinois. He's gonna give you an update on his farm. Uh, I'm not sure if you remember earlier this spring, I was out there hunting with uh, Sam and his dad Lou out there on their Western Illinois farm. It's gonna be nice having Sam on the team. We're gonna bring a different perspective from another part of the country. So we're looking forward to following along this year and seeing what him and his dad do to their new farm and uh, take you through hunting season and, and uh, follow along with their success. So also don't forget, we're giving away this Browning Strike Force camera to our YouTube subscribers. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh, go on our Facebook and Instagram. There's a post about um, winning this giveaway. So make sure you comment on that. And uh, don't forget about the podcast. Check us out everywhere you can get your podcast. Apple, Stitcher, um, anywhere that you can find the podcast, you'll find us. So check out Sam's video. Let us know what you think. And uh, we'll be bringing you more like this. What's up, everybody? It's Sam Carroza. Just wanted to show you what we're doing here on our new farm. Um, right behind me is where we are gonna clear out about an eighth of an acre for a fall food plot. And to the north here over that screen of weeds is about 12 acres, uh, soon to be alfalfa. So we're hoping that uh, they'll pop their heads in this little plot. We're gonna put a box blind right where I'm standing, looking over this little plot. So we will get this mowed and uh, keep you up with the progress. back in the food plot that I showed you earlier, future food plot I should say. We mowed this out, it actually looks a bit bigger than I thought, it's gonna be really nice. There's another fence gap here, which I mowed uh, entrance into, and then I put a camera right there, so we're gonna see as they jump that fence where they're going. Um, again, we're gonna put our box blind up in this corner, and then you got 12 acres of future alfalfa, the farmer hasn't planted it yet, but by fall it should be good attraction, so looking forward to this spot as well. What's up guys? Just looking at this no-till red clover plot that had some rye in it as well. Uh, turned out really nice. This is my best plot so far with the no-till. Um, you can zoom in here and take a look at some of the clover. It's coming in pretty good. And then I wanted to show you guys our ambush point in a fence gap we have. I've got a tree stand right here so at about a 10 yard shot you would be able to go right down this fence gap here and that's where I've got a camera. I'll walk with you over that way. Got our camera here, fence gap there, 100 yards of soybeans on the other, 100 acres of soybeans, sorry, on the other side of that fence on a neighbor. So this should be a killer transition spot, good funnel. Should get some good pictures here. Good morning, everybody. I'm out here in Illinois on my farm here and we're doing something a little different this morning from food plotting and all that. We are trying to control some invasive species that are in this wide open timber. Uh, as you can see behind me, a lot of wide open area, not too much sunlight getting to the floor and not too much undergrowth either. Um, you know, what undergrowth you do have is multiflora rose, Japanese barberry, um, some bush honeysuckle, stuff like that. So what I have here is my backpack sprayer with Gly. And I've been spraying thickets like this, you know, multi-floor rows. This one I sprayed a couple weeks ago, so you see it's starting to yellow. So I'm hoping it's starting to die a long and painful death here. But uh, this ridge top is about 10 acres, so there's a lot of work to be done. I think I get about, maybe I'm covering an acre, two acres with each backpack sprayer load. So um, yeah, it's everywhere. So uh, basically the idea here is we're getting it timbered in the off season. So as soon as deer season's over, um, I've got a guy coming in marking trees and getting out of here as fast as he can so that we can let it rest and uh, and regroup. But this top is getting timbered real hard. You can see there's, I'm looking around for some big oaks. They're, they're everywhere. There's some walnuts up here. Um, but in order to 
prevent this place from becoming a ridge top full of thorn bushes and non-invasive and invasive species non-natives um, got to get ahead of it and try and kill the invasives first so hope this helps you guys out have a good day